How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Liban. So we've got some more Dragon Age, the Veil Guard here. This is a look at the combat in the game. Weirdly enough, this is actually not public on their channel. These are a bunch of unlisted videos that they've created for the actual EA blog uh, describing the game itself, which I do find weird. I think it would have benefited a lot more to maybe just have these public over on the channel itself. But if you go to the blog, you actually just able to go to the video on YouTube overall. So they actually did four videos. So there's four parts to this, but this particular video here combines all of them into one nearly 11 minute video showing off the combat. So we're gonna check out each one, little snippets, get ourselves excited for Dragon Age The Veil Guard, see what kind of gameplay they're bringing forward. Let's go. Oh, warrior. Abilities and runes. Assign abilities and an ultimate attack before jumping into battle. Gotcha. Grappling spear. Spectral bulwark. Warden spire. Looks kind of cool. Equip runes to enhance your power set and access unique abilities when activated. Choose runes that boost a warrior's damage and help with crowd control. The are literally just showing each and every one. Okay, each combat class has an array of specializations to choose from. Your rook has chosen the champion branch, which favors strong defensive skills. Okay, cool. Utilizing passive abilities is heavy armor. Like heavy armor, mastery will help boost defense if you are equipped with all heavy armor. Okay. Fiery resolve. Gain flaming weapons on perfect defense. <laughs> that sounds jokes. Okay, so in the future, progression systems deep dive. For this build, you'll want a full set of bravery armor to activate our heavy armor mastery passive. Okay. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. Stagger? Was Stagger ever a part, of, uh, a part of the Dragon Age series, that kind of mechanic, before? Or is this the first time? Let me know in the comments below. So many different builds, man. Okay. Interesting. So your companions can help with that too. Crowd control abilities. Holy moly. A lot of things to consider. Part two. A lot of things to consider before you jump in. Resistant to necrosis. Okay, enemies have a multitude of damage, vulnerabilities, and resistance. I don't know if I'm digging that this whole big UI here in front of my face. Unless that was just part of the video. That they're kind of explaining stuff. No, I think it's actually in the game. Okay. Yeah, he got the, he got the flaming weapon because of the perfect defense. And they already mentioned that these enemies were uh, weak to fire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shield throw.
so like armor barriers stuff like that maybe even what's the word for it no just armor in general so even if you do like slash at them several times it's not going to do anything Lavender Stagger Ball, good. Okay. Okay. So maybe the best thing is to consider a build where Stagger... Stagger is a part of it. The Warriors, they're making the Warrior look super cool right now. Companion buffs and debuffs to apply status effects, okay. Mechanus Adrenaline Rush ability, which enhances Rook's damage stats. Additional stat, I'm telling you. The build, build your build around Stagger, man. Dominate to knock enemies down. Alright. Oh, Davrin's death from above. Let me see what this looks like. Oh, okay. So he's in the distance somewhere. Alright. <laughs> oh, that was cool. <laughs> that was actually kind of cool. Loads of different buffs, debuffs. Combo detonations. Primers and detonations can come on. Davrin to taunt together nearby enemies. So bring them all in together and then choose the right primer and detonator. Great Herlock Spiker. Okay. Oh. Boom. I don't know if it's just based on this particular bit of gameplay or... But the, the enemies look like sponges. They are taking these hits. An ultimate attack. Oh, shit. Let's see them all in action. Okay. Okay, melee attacks. Backing up. I find that fascinating. When you're selecting stuff, it stops the whole game. Yep. Freeze them all. So we're not going to detonate them all this time. Oh, that's a buff. Kick. Why does the kick do so much damage? 
Oh yeah, the ricocheting shield. Death from above, okay. No, heroic strike, okay. Oh, there we go, it's gonna explode. There is so much going on. Perfect defense. Holy moly, so much happening on screen right now. Okay, so that was Dragon Age The Veil Guard showing off some high level combat. That was all parts we watched there, so roughly an 11, 11, 11, 11 minute video. They did say high level combat, so I doubt this is something, hopefully it's something that they'll be able to ease you into as the game goes along. Even for myself, just being seeing that, being able to see that and trying to keep up with it was not the simplest thing, uh, especially as there was a couple of things that maybe confused me a little bit. But obviously we are playing as the warrior here. Uh, we have access to buffs for yourself, debuffs for enemies, picking the right skills before you even go into battles and such is important, picking the right companions to complement those skills as well, uh, using companions during battle. There's so many options available here. The one thing obviously that does concern me are the enemies. They did feel a little bit spongy there. Um, we were going at them quite heavily and it still took quite a little while for them to go down. I don't know if that's because we weren't using something we were actually they were actually weak against. In one of the early or the first or the second combat video, it showed that that specific enemy was weak to fire and we had the perfect defense skill available. So anytime we defended perfectly, our weapons would be engulfed in flames and then they would take more damage overall, which I thought was pretty interesting. The stagger ability, let me know down in the comments below if that's been in Dragon Age before. I don't recall ever hearing about it. Again, I've never played Dragon Age previously. Uh, so definitely do recommend if there are any particular Dragon Age games I should start with if I want to kind of get into it. But the stagger ability, if I'm just looking at it generally, I want to, I, I would want to make sure my build is based around that as it will be the simplest route to take down enemies. Because when enemies are staggered, they end up taking a lot more damage on overall. But that was high level combat for Dragon Age the Veil Guard. Really good stuff, a lot to consider overall. But obviously when you play the game, it will become a lot easier. Let me know what you guys thought. Are you looking forward to this Dragon Age game? Could you care less? Let me know down in the comments below. Please, of course, click like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. If you want to check out more videos like this one here, this here is available. And I'll catch you there shortly. Peace.